order to find wildlife, many of us head off deep into the wilderness in hopes of having an encounter with some amazing creatures. And while you are almost guaranteed to find amazing animals out in the wilderness, that is not the only place that you will find them. <laughs> Past few years, dozens of species have become our wild neighbors, living in our backyards and fascinating us. In this episode, we will show you what species can be found and also how to help creatures thrive in your backyard. Birds are perhaps the most popular backyard animals. Here in New Jersey, there are 480 species of bird. Many of them can be found in your backyard. One of those birds is the American Robin. Robins are common in their range and are known as the sign of spring. They usually inhabit fields, meadows, and lawns. They like to build their nests in bushes and small trees. Their favorite foods are grubs and worms, which they dig out of the ground. Not all birds, however, like grubs and worms. Most of the species you'll find in your backyard love to eat seed. If you ever leave out a bird feeder, you will soon find a multitude of bird species crowding your yard. Seed-eating birds are the majestic cardinal, gentle morning dove, and loud sparrow. Wild turkeys are another occasional feeder visitor. Woodpeckers are another backyard bird that feasts on seed and suet. One woodpecker species in particular, the northern flicker, likes to feed on ants. They can be seen on the ground, pecking away, searching for these insects. You can also attract hummingbirds to your backyard through the use of live plants or special hummingbird feeders. Also attract Baltimore Orioles by leaving out flowers, orange slices, or grape jelly. One thing to note is that leaving out a bird feeder won't only attract birds. Squirrels sometimes visit feeders more frequently than birds. The two main squirrel species are the highly common gray squirrel and the shy red squirrel. Both these squirrels can be found feeding below feeders with their cousin, the eastern chip. The squirrel's diet goes beyond seeds and nuts, however. They also enjoy peanut butter, berries, bananas, and even bird eggs. The squirrel's largest cousin is the groundhog, who also survives here. Nightfall. It is now when some of the backyard's more interesting creatures come out. Famous for their defensive spray, the striped skunk is easily recognized by its black and white fur. American opossums, North America's only marsupial, feed on seed, fruit, insects, and even ticks, which are in abundance in most backyards. common nocturnal resident here is the masked bandit itself, the northern raccoon. They forage through backyards and forests for insects, fruits, garbage, and practically anything that they can get their hand-like paws on. While very cute, these mammals can be very vicious if provoked. While not related, the black bear is similar in behavior to the raccoon. 
Both raid trash cans, climb trees, and are very curious. This animal will occasionally visit backyards if food is present and easily accessible. The white-tailed deer has adapted well to life alongside humans. With an ample supply of food and shelter from predators, the backyard has become a sanctuary for them. Some deer also raise fawns here, and many delight in seeing baby deer frolic through our yards. The cottontail rabbit has a similar diet as the deer, and they too raise young in our backyards. White-tailed deer find refuge from predators in our backyard. However, that is not the case with the cottontail rabbit. The red fox is a common yet elusive mammal that inhabits the backyard year-round. They often get themselves into trouble by engaging with dogs and attacking chicken coops. Birds and mammals are not the only creatures to thrive in our backyard. Cold-blooded animals such as amphibians and reptiles also thrive here. The fowler's toad is a fairly common species here in New Jersey. Toads are more terrestrial than frogs, and as such have a wider range. Frogs can still be found in your backyard, like the spring peeper. Species of lungless salamanders, such as the redback and slimy salamanders, are commonly seen hiding under rocks, logs, and bricks in our backyards. If your backyard has a bunch of those lying around, chances are you'll be able to find one of these cute little amphibians. Garter snakes prey on small insects and salamanders. They too hide under logs and rocks. The best time to find them is when they are out in the sun, basking. These snakes can also be quite at home in the water, so if you have a pond or a creek in your backyard, you might be able to see them swimming around in search of small fish. Box turtles are another backyard resident. This colorful turtle is an omnivore, feeding on both plants and the animals. They are well known for their unique ability to close completely into their shell. Five Line Stink is a swift lizard that can be found in wood and rock piles here in New Jersey. These colorful lizards are one of three New Jersey lizard species. They can be found all over the eastern United States, from New England to Texas. Insects can be found in virtually any backyard, whether you hate them or love them. They are a very interesting animal. A highly common backyard insect is the praying mantis. These impressive predators are extremely common in the backyard and are a favorite of many. There is a wide variety of species that you can find in your backyard. Some of them are easy to handle and completely safe. However, there are a few that you should not try to interact with. Before heading out to your backyard to explore, do some research to see what animals might live in your backyard. And be sure to stay safe and have a good time exploring. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and let us know what animals live in your backyard in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to see new wild adventures.